Check out that sunset. Looking good. What's up guys, it's another day and there's another project to do in the yard. This time we're gonna be fixing up a, a hose storage, uh, roll up hose storage um, piece. Uh, it's leaking and we're gonna make it better. So come along and let's see what we can do. So I've got this thing to store my hose and I've got a couple problems with it that I want to address tonight. The first thing is this little kink in the hose. This came, this hose came with it, but this kink never goes away even when I turn the water on. I've got an extra hose that I'm going to use to replace that um, in the garage. I'll show you what I do to replace that. The other problem I'm having too is when I turn the water on here, I get a leak right here and it just drips this whole way down the whole time I'm using the hose and I want to address that too I think we can fix that so let's take this in the garage and get started so here's the hose caddy back in the garage and this is some this is some extra um, hose that I have from a project I did on my fountain a while ago I think it would be good to replace that hose with and then I've got two of these um, female hose menders um, it's gonna just replicate what's going on on the, the end of this female to female hose we're gonna do here to replace that. Um, so what I'll do first is uh, replace that and uh, then we'll go on to fixing that leak. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is uh, replace uh, the hose that was coming off of the uh, holder that connected the, the hose holder to um, the spigot. Uh, and you can see the, the kink is still here. Uh, that's, this is the main problem that I wanna try and get rid of by replacing it. So let's measure this real quick and see just kind of about how far we need to replace this. 46 inches, I think we can do that. We don't need this anymore. This is just leftover hose um, from a previous project. It's, it's a nice hose, it's solid, it's commercial grade. Uh, I think it'll do a really good job. So we'll cut about 46 inches or so off of this and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've measured off uh, about 46, 48 inches, give or take, it doesn't matter. Um, just close enough will work for us and then I'll just use these gardening shears um, to cut the hose. Okay, so here's our uh, replacement hose and then I have these two um, female hose menders. I just picked these up at Home Depot. Um, they're right over by the Hose, hoses, garden hoses area, there's a repair section where you can get different repair parts. And I picked these up, they're about $5 a piece. So these work pretty simply. Um, they come like this in the package. And um, all you can need to do is separate. And then there's two screws here that you'll wanna loosen to get started. Just loosen those up a little bit so that the, ho the hose has room to go through the hole there, just slips over the hose. Slips over the hose like this. You can just leave it there for now. Um, and then this part goes into the hose. There we go. Push that in there all the way like that, as far as you can get it. And then bring the slip back up. We'll probably have to loosen it a little more. That up. And just enough for it to slide over the end here. There we go. 
all the way up. And then this is gonna squeeze down when we tighten the screws, it's gonna squeeze down onto the hose and it's gonna create a compression seal onto this piece here, holding it in place. Just tighten this. Do each side a little bit at a time. Okay, and that's what it should look like when it's all done, nice and snug. Before we connect this, um, I wanna put a little bit of plumber's tape just around this plastic um, mail piece here, just to give it a little extra seal. Just to make sure that it will fit on there nice. So just wrap it around a few times. And that should be good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and attach this end here. Get a nice snug connection to prevent any leaks. It's a little slick to the touch, so we'll just shore it up a little bit here with our pliers. Okay, now we'll do the same thing to this piece here. This is where the leak was, was happening. It would, it would leak out here at the bottom and then it would spill over and then leak down. So we'll use our tape again. This is gonna be a little trickier space to get it into. I wanna make sure that I get this one taped up really good since this is where I know the leak is happening. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Let's go back outside and hook it back up to the hose and see if we have any leaks. One thing I did notice before I put the hose back on was it was missing a, a rubber gasket inside. And so we'll put that in too and that should really help us seal up that fit to make sure it doesn't leak anymore. Okay, let's turn it on and see if we have any leaks. It's dry. Awesome. Okay, so that's working now. Really happy with that. Really happy with the way it came out. Um, there's no more kink in the hose and there's no more leak, most importantly. And I, I attribute that to one, the tape, and two, the fact that I found that there was a, a rubber gasket missing inside the female end of that hose there. And so um, I have a few of those on hand. You can pick those up at the same place at Home Depot as we got those other pieces for the hose there. Uh, so put that in there, tighten it up nice and snug. Sure enough, no leaks, so we're good to go. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the next one.